far measurements then are needed on a cell by cell basis and that means that they can appear a bit noisy and if we want to classify cells we can do it on individual cell by cell measurements but it may be helpful if we were able to supplement each cell with a little bit more knowledge of its surroundings and a way in which we can do that is we can go to analyze calculate features and we can calculate new features so new measurements for each cell there are a few different options looking at textures and so on and when it will pull out each cell look at an area around the center of the cell and then calculate textures in them they'll take a bit longer to calculate but they're there as an option but the one that i would often do is just add smooth features i select a region i press run i update the map and you can see that what's happened is that it's really calculated a weighted average for each measurement for each individual cell and the neighboring cells if i filter down my list to get the nucleus cell area ratio so this is before the filtering this is after the filtering so it's essentially smoothed out the measurements and in a moment as we're going to try and get qpath to learn how to classify the cells we'll see that having these smooth measurements can help the classifier come up with more sensible results because each individual nucleus it may be the actual the proper classification of it is easier to make if you also know the a little bit about the surrounding cells and this essentially gets that information into the software i can then smooth by much more so this radius adjusts how much i'm smoothing so i can smooth by a much wider distance if i want it's going to take a bit longer i'll update the map and now i have a much more highly smooth measurements which may or may not be useful but we'll be able to see that in a moment but what you tend you should be able to see is that the measurements are high in areas of particularly distinct cell types so it's not necessarily the nucleus cell area ratio um, the nucleus area might be informative perhaps it becomes more informative whenever smoothing is applied so that gives a way to visualize it 